Hi guys, welcome to VR Essentials. We're live from Singapore, where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. In today's video, we're going to talk about what it's like to use Bluetooth headphones instead of the HP Reverb G2 speakers. By the way, if you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you, and a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Today's shout out goes to Jose, Gadget Guru LV, and Fire Slayer 26. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi guys, bonjour, comment ça va? So today is pretty exciting because we're going to talk about the pros and cons of using a basically Bluetooth device to power the audio inside of your ears. So for example, I'm using these, which are Bluetooth earbuds by Motorola, not sponsored. And I'm going to, you know, dive more into the pros and cons when you're using something like this versus the HP Reverb G2 speakers. Where HP actually really missed the mark on this one is that a large amount of the population of HP Reverb G2 users actually have had issues with the actual speakers and do go into the link description below as I have posted other videos about this. Personally, I understand that technology is supposed to get wireless, but unfortunately, I also feel that HP did miss an opportunity here by adding a headphone jack inside of the VR headset. Perhaps that is why they were able to also bring the costs down by not having this kind of stuff inside of it. That's possible. But in terms of convenience, it doesn't really add up when compared to other VR headsets. Now, when I'm using the actual HP Reverb G2 speakers without any headphones of any kind, as I mentioned, I have some issues with crackling. So there is no good point for me on this front and to avoid any specific issues, I really have to bring the sound low. So this really brings the immersion for me. However, when I'm using something like this, like these Bluetooth earbuds, then the immersion is fantastic. I don't have any issues, of course, with the audio because it's a different hardware, but there are some downsides to this. By the way, don't forget to be part of the notification squad so you get notified when I upload really cool videos to the channel as I do so quite regularly by enabling the notification bell after you subscribe. Now, Bluetooth headphones and earbuds are going to depend in terms of the quality on the brand that you're going to get. I only tested the Motorola ones, so perhaps with your own brand, you may have a different experience. The first thing I noticed is that I always have to pair the earbuds first before I launch a Steam game or a game from Epic Games or from anywhere else to launch something in virtual reality and also before launching mixed reality as well. Because generally speaking, if I do it after, I find that I get more latency, there's more issues with the audio and it's not clear all the time. Here and there it will break and then also sometimes it just completely switches off. Now, even though using Bluetooth headphones doesn't really mean that your computer will work that much harder. However, for experiences that required really a lot of power, for example, Half-Life Alyx or Microsoft Flight 2020, I did notice sometimes some more latency issues during my gameplay. Now, I didn't notice it all the time. And please do leave a comment below if you've experienced something similar. And also if you have a solution to this, I'm still trying to experiment a little bit as to how to fix this because it's not noticeable all the time, but you know, when it is noticeable, it does break the immersion a little bit. The other downside of using, of course, Bluetooth earbuds or headphones, if you didn't have them already, is of course the additional cost. Now these, you know, cost me 50 US dollars. I wouldn't say they're the most expensive, but they're not the cheaper either. So maybe that's something you'd want to take into consideration. Now I'd like to share a couple tips with you when choosing your Bluetooth devices. First of all, make sure that it has a range that is more than five meters, because the longer it is, then of course, the more you're standing away from your computer, then the less chances the audio will break during your gameplay. And then the other thing is, if you have a PC and you need to buy an additional Bluetooth dongle, same thing, make sure that your Bluetooth Tongo is really nice and powerful. It has really good reviews on Amazon. And then what you can do is take a USB cord that's about two meters long, and then perhaps put it away from your computer, hang it on the wall near towards your gameplay. Another tip I have for you when using your earbuds, you know, maybe make sure that they come in a little case like this. You know, this is really nice for traveling, very easy to put in your pocket. And also the case serves as a charging station whilst the earbuds are on standby. And also, of course, when you're choosing your earbuds, make sure that the battery life is going to last longer than at least, you know, two hours. For example, these Motorola is supposed to last 
for a good 10 hours on standby and then during the gameplay they last for at least 2-3 hours so this is really good and convenient when I'm doing for example live streams. And then finally let's talk about latency in terms of these Bluetooth headphones. Now I don't know if these are the best ones in the market or if they're not. Please share with the other 6,000 community members on the VR Essentials YouTube channel which Bluetooth devices you use so that perhaps it could help the others. However, if we compare it to an analog, that means a headphone jack that I would plug into the computer and then have a wire stretch all the way to my ears, which by the way is quite dangerous and is super not convenient. Well, the sound is better. You can definitely tell that there is some latency, some milli, milli, milliseconds between the Bluetooth and the analog for sure. But these Bluetooth headphone device, I have to say that, you know, has really tremendously upped my immersion when using the HP Reverb G2 whilst I'm in virtual reality.